have you heard of Muhammad Qasim and his dreams? Uh, he's a heretic. Uh, may Allah guide him. Uh, you know, maybe he's going through some mental health problems. Uh, so I, I hope he gets the right uh, mental health support uh, uh, and so on. So yeah, uh, no one should listen to him, him and his... Uh... Adam, you called Muhammad Qasim a heretic, basically saying that he has a he, he, he has deviant beliefs. Let's go hear from his own mouth. Let's go listen to the deviant beliefs that Muhammad Qasim has that deviates him from the path of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or the message of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Let's go hear it. اس کی کی گئی ہے کہ اللہ نے ایک خواہ میں مجھے کہا تھا کہ قاسم یہ دنیا اس سے پہلے اتنی شیخ سے بھری ہوئی کبھی نہیں تھی جتنی یہ آج شیخ سے بھری ہوئی The biggest uh, big shift form is like uh, if you see uh, around the market they make a statues if you go to the housing societies they make a statues to uh, make their housing societies more uh, looks more good if you go to clothing uh, shop uh, then you can see the statues there and the, the other big form is the pictures unnecessary pictures if you see uh, there is a billboards and there is a big pictures okay these are also the form of shit let's go look at kutub tawhid let's go look at chapter 20 of kutub tawhid what the sheikh muhammad ibn abdul wahab said about what Muhammad Qasim said. Let's go see it. There's a beautiful hadith. That's on chapter 20. Um Sulama mentioned to Allah's messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that in Abyssinia she saw a church full of pictures and statues. He, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, said, when a righteous man or a pious worshiper among them dies, they build a place of worship. They build a place of worship over his grave and set up all kinds of pictures and statues. They are the worst of all creatures before Allah. They combine the two evils, worshiping at the graves and making graven images and statues. Subhanallah. How does this mess, how does what Muhammad Qasim just said deviate from what Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us? The two most evilest sins are pictures and statues. They're not my words, they're the words of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So how does Muhammad Qasim deviate from the message of Rasulullah? What we're telling you guys is, Wallahi, Imam Mahdi has came out. And he has came out with the same message as Rasulullah. He calls the Tawheed in great detail. And he tells us to avoid shirk in all of his forms. And he tells us that he's seen in his dreams that the mercy and the help of Allah will never touch the Muslim Ummah if we don't eradicate shirk in all of his forms. Does that, how does that make him a heretic? Explain that, please. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Do your research, do your due diligence, and please show me one thing or one video or one dream of Muhammad Qasim's that deviates from the path of Rasulullah. That being said, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.